DC's upcoming Blue Beetle movie arrives on August 18th, and while DC has pretty much done almost nothing to promote this film, despite it being just over a month away. While I entirely understand that's likely due to the ongoing WGA strike, pay your writers, I truly don't want this film to go unnoticed or fail as a result of that. So as a DC fan, as a Cobra Kai fan, and as a Hispanic who's legitimately looking forward to Blue Beetle, I figured that I'd use my voice to do the work that DC is seemingly not able or greenlit to do. It's time to discuss why I'm excited for Blue Beetle and why you should be too. Now, for what it's worth, no, DC hasn't really communicated what Blue Beetle's story is about outside of the first trailer. However, from what we can tell from Blue Beetle's trailer and a multitude of interviews that we'll be diving into throughout this video, it seems like Blue Beetle is taking a back to the basics approach and doing something incredibly refreshing. They're allowing High May's family to play a core role in the film. When talking to MovieMaker.com, Sholo Mari Duenya, who plays Jaime Reyes, said, One of the most important and exciting things about Blue Beetle is that we aren't dealing with an alien invasion that's going to take over the whole world, or a monster that's going to destroy the city. This is a movie about issues that not only Jaime faces, but the whole Reyes family in Greater Palmera City. All of us can relate to the struggle. He went on to say, That was something that I really connected with as someone who is constantly having to work a a little bit harder for the same thing as some of my acting counterparts. Exploring this family that really deserves more was such a pleasure. Hopefully we highlight some real issues people face. To me, this is a much needed change of pace when it comes to DC movies, and I think it's going to potentially be one of Blue Beetle's biggest strengths for an understandable reason. The last three DC EU films share a few things in common, such as them having gigantic budgets, terrible reviews, and terrible box office numbers. But while those things are true, none of those things are going to help me make the point that I'm trying to make. The one major thing Black Adam, Shazam 2, and The Flash all had in common is world-ending plots that were hard to care for. Well, The Flash more so had a multiversal ending plot, if we're being specific but semantics I guess. Let's be honest, those world-ending plots had no buildup whatsoever making those stories feel entirely unearned. The last thing DC needs, at this point in time at least, is yet another world-ending plot with a superhero that the casual audience doesn't know or isn't totally familiar with. The idea of allowing Blue Beetle to have a grounded story where Jaime and his family are the heart of this film is going to potentially be a good thing for both DC and the superhero genre in general. When it comes to DC, Blue Beetle currently has incredibly low expectations, both due to the lack of marketing and recent failures DC has put out. So that's going to allow the movie to subvert these low expectations and potentially resonate with people more than they expected, which is a massive massive win for DC. When it comes to the superhero genre, I think it's been so long since we've had a back to basic superhero film that isn't focused on setting up the next big project that I think it's going to remind the superhero fandom of what made us fall in love with the superhero genre to begin with. It's been quite a long time since we've gotten a show or movie that's only focused on telling the story it's trying to tell and giving its characters a satisfying arc that makes us hope that we get to see a continuation of their stories which is exactly what the cast of Blue Beetle is aiming to do. Blue Beetle wants to try and make us feel like we're a part of the family so we can ultimately walk away feeling like we can relate to Jaime and his family as said by the movie's director Angel Manuel Soto. While the Reyes family first culture might be foreign to some, the idea ultimately is to invite viewers in. We want to invite people into Jaime's experience, into the Reyes family home, and their environment. I know that may sound corny, but as seen by the Spider-Verse films, people will care about family members that are centric to a superhero's plot if it's done correctly, which I do think will be the case with Blue Beetle. What may make Blue Beetle's story impact viewers or resonate with viewers is Angel's intentional goal of trying to tell a family-centric story that isn't rooted in or centered around tragedy. Blue Beetle is a movie that's trying to subvert the typical Hispanic tropes and is trying to do it in a way that's not only respectful, but in a way they're hoping inspires more happy films 
at least according to Sholo. In that same interview with Movie Maker, he briefly states, I love that the Reyes family is proud, and although yeah, they struggle and go through hardships, it's always something that they can overcome, and they never ask for pity. He adds, everyone deserves to have these happy stories, and that's something that I hope more movies in the future will be able to naturally incorporate. Another exciting thing about DC's upcoming Blue Beetle film is the fact that Sholo's iteration of Jaime Reyes is the first character of DC Studios' upcoming DCU reset. While the film may not entirely be canon, as things may need to slightly pivot depending on the success of the film or for the sake of the long-term plans of the DCU, James Gunn himself has confirmed this. I mean, the first DCU character for sure is Blue Beetle. To give better clarification as to why this isn't technically the first full DCU movie, here's what Blue Beetle's director on Hell said regarding its placement in the DCU when he spoke to Total Film. We are part of the universe. We are part of the world. We are part of the plans that they have been creating for the future installment of the DCU. But we are not tied to all the films from the past. Yes, our movie lives in the world where superheroes exist, but that doesn't mean that a certain event or certain alliance or certain things from the past dictate where our film is going. As someone who's been looking forward to this upcoming reset for such a long time now, we're talking years at this rate, knowing that this is the first DCU character we're getting introduced to means everything and more, not only because it's DC's first live action Latino superhero film, which is a fairly big deal, and not only because I'm a fan of everything Sholo or Anhel have been saying, it's because this is the first character of Gunn's universe and he's being played by some someone who has the utmost respect for the character. From everything we've seen and heard, Sholo is incredibly passionate about this character and he's doing everything he can to at least get people excited for Blue Beetle. This is a role that genuinely means something to him and he's even stated that he knows the impact this movie will have on its audience and he doesn't take that lightly at all. To me, that's music to my ears. We've gotten to see or hear so many Marvel actors talk about what their characters or what the Marvel Cinematic Universe means to them over the last several years. On the DC side of things, it's been so long since we've seen genuine passion come for an actor who's playing a massive role in the DC Cinematic Universe. We haven't gotten the same energy or excitement from the actors who have played a role in DCEU projects in such a long time. This new level of energy has basically started with John Cena who did everything in his power to market Peacemaker. It's also why so many of us enjoyed the DC fandom events. There was so much love, enjoyment, and positivity that came from the folks behind a ton of different DC projects that it made it exciting to be a DC fan for the first time in years when DC made those events. So to see that level of passion and love coming from Sholo and the entire crew behind Blue Beetle makes it easy to want to stand by this film. It makes it easy to want this film to succeed. And it makes it easy to want to push as much support as possible towards it. If these things aren't good enough reasons to support the film, here are two more reasons, though they're both contingent on the movie doing great. The first thing is that Blue Beetle's director has already confirmed that Blue Beetle is currently slated to be the first act of a saga. So if the movie does well, we're going to see at least an additional sequel or full trilogy for Blue Beetle. Of course, we'll continue to see more of Jaime Reyes outside of those potential sequels throughout the DCU, assuming the movie does well. Well, secondly, and more excitingly, the Hollywood Reporter sources think that there's a possible chance that if Blue Beetle gets a positive reception, Sholo's Jaime Reyes could end up appearing in the upcoming Booster Gold series. As a Booster Gold fan, you can absolutely sign me the hell up for that because that absolutely needs to happen. Look, I'm not here trying to promise that Blue Beetle is going to blow our minds and be this superhero film that's going to reinvent the superhero genre by any means at all. What I am trying to do though, is ensure that Blue Beetle doesn't get entirely written off because it doesn't deserve that. It's the first DC movie in years, excluding the Batman or Joker of course, that's trying to do something on its own and trying to be different. 
It's not trying to worry about setting up the next project. It's not trying to force unearned fan service upon the viewers. It's not trying to tell yet another boring world ending plot. And it's not trying to step on anybody's toes by disrespecting the past DCEU films. Sure, there's an obvious Batman a fascist joke, but that was done in jest and because Jaime's uncle is written like that. Plus, Batman himself says no one should like him in Blue Beetle Book 1, so the joke actually kind of works if you ask me. However, what Blue Beetle is trying to do is represent and invite folks into the world of a culture that often isn't represented on the big screen within the superhero genre. It's very clearly trying to tell a story in the most loving way possible, and that alone deserves some attention or support. As a DC fan, as a Cobra Kai fan, and as a Hispanic who's legitimately looking forward to Blue Beetle, I hope this video can give some much needed positive vibes towards Blue Beetle. I'm not asking for much y'all, I just want people to be open-minded toward this movie and at least give it a shot as we get more trailers, sneak peeks, and or stills over the next month. There's clearly a ton of love being poured into this film by the crew and at the very least I wanted to try to use my voice to amplify a movie that's not too far away since DC seems to not be doing the best job when it comes to that. With all this being said, are you excited for Blue Beetle? Are you not excited for Blue Beetle? Are you concerned about Blue Beetle? Let me know in the comments down below, but most importantly, don't forget... Blue Beetle, August 18th!